Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel for another unboxing, view and test. The TP-Link Archer router offers reliable high-speed internet by utilizing a 4G plus LTE network. You can watch the video I made earlier in the description below. Today I will show you how to manage all the settings conveniently via a web interface. Starting with the internet, we can see some informations. Archer, router information, wireless you can disable and enable the 2.4 or the 5 GHz guest network the same enable or disable ethernet status 1 lan lan 2 1 gigabit the same and the lan 3 you can edit the wireless and it will go at the settings of the wireless the same in the guest network i will show you later internet we can see some information for the internet status, disable and enable the mobile data, 4G, 3G, dial-up settings, you can choose the profile name and save. Wireless, wireless settings, uh, enable the smart connect if you want, enable, disable the 2.4, share the network, rename the network, security, Password you can change, enable disable the 5 GHz, the same you can share, hide the SSID for both networks if you want, security for the 5G, change the password, enable the 2.4 and the 5 GHz, you can rename, set the security, same in here, hide the SSID, both, advanced, Operation mode, you can choose a wireless router or 3G, 4G. Easy mess. Enable, disable. If you have a second uh, router, you can enable the easy mess. Network. Status. Some information. Internet. More information. Internet status. You can disable, enable the mobile data. The data roaming. NAT boost. External antennas. Disable, enable. Check the 4G or 3G, band search, auto or manual, network search, the same. For the external antennas, if you have connecting an external antenna, you need to enable that. Profile name, LAN, some information for the MAC address, IP and subnet mask, DHCP server, enable, disable, DHCP relay or server. Add, refresh, add a condition pool, I'm just showing you what options should you have available to change and adjust to your needs. Dynamic DNS, to use a TP-Link DDNS service, log in with a TP-Link ID, I will do that later, routing, Static routing, routing table, MBB, ISP upgrade, you can browse and upgrade, pin management, if you want you can enable the pin at the SIM card, data settings, total usage, adjust, enable data limit, Monthly data statistics, USSD, SMS, inbox, you can delete, refresh, you can receive SMS, new messages, you can send. Or save, outbox, draft. SMS settings, TP-Link ID, you can add your TP-Link ID and you can access this router anywhere at any time. Wireless, wireless settings, enable again the smart connect and here we have more settings for the wireless, enable disable the 2.4, rename, security, version, password, Transmit power, low, middle, high, channel width, 
channel auto from 1 to 13 mode 5 year hertz you can share in the network for both the 2.4 and the 5 year hertz rename security version password transmit power channel width channel mode and mu mimu enable disable guest network the same in here you can enable share hide the ssid rename choose the security for both networks guest permission allow no need right now for a guest network wireless schedule enable WPS, you can enable, start, disable for now, additional settings, 2.4 GHz, WMM, short GI, some uh, settings that you can adjust, NAT forwarding, port, add, view common services, Cancel, port triggering, add, UPnP, disable, enable, DMZ, parental controls, you can add, create a profile, QoS, security, firewall you can enable access control add IP and MAC binding binding list you connected devices later I will connect some of the devices ALG Disable Enable, System, Firmware Upgrade, some information for the device, check for upgrades, you can download the update from TP-Link and start the upgrade, backup and restore, backup, restore, choose the file, administration, System log, you can clear. CWMP setting, port mirror, diagnostics, time and language, you can change the language, 24 hour time. Daylight saving, you can enable. Reboot, schedule, LED control, disable, enable the night mode. Let's move on to the wireless, rename the wireless network and connect all my devices. Connect it, all the devices at this uh, router. You can rename the device. We can see the 2.4 GHz, the 5 GHz, Ethernet connection. To block some of these devices, you need to go at the advanced, security, access control, enable, add, and choose one of these devices, add. and the device is blocked and you can add another one there it is or you can choose whitelist
blacklist again and delete. Twenty seven clients. And that's how you can easily control and customize your TP Link Archer MR505 4G Plus LT router through the web browser. With its intuitive interface, easy network management and security settings, staying in control of your internet connection has never been simpler. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech guides, router setups and troubleshooting tips. Thanks for watching and as always, stay connected, stay secure and I'll see you in the next video.